Ala, ala, ala. Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's BK on the PC. Yeah, I got the right platform this time. Burn Kebab, the racing guru. How you all doing, guys? Welcome, 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 welcome. We've got some TIR racing coming at you tonight, ladies and gents. We're at uh, Circuit of the Americas, Austin, Texas, for what should be an absolute banger of a race. They got a lot, of li lot to live up to, though, after last night's outstanding race at. Uh, the same track courtesy of the Division 4 Speedsters. But yeah, the, um, the Stallions are in action tonight, ladies and gents. And uh, talk about Stallions. What a co-coms I've got for you, ladies and gents. The Stallion himself. The Tinder King, Gazza Burgess. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Gazza Burgess is back in the comms box with the legend, Beer and Kebab. How you doing, mate? You okay? All good? Yeah, yeah, I'm all good, mate. I'm just still multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I watched some of your stream yesterday and it was a good race. And do you know what? Uh, after you put in a Discord about you staying online and talking to the community, I watched it back in work the last bit and it was actually really nice to hear you and the community having jokes. I was listening to it in work and it was actually quite <laughs> funny, to be fair. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a good laugh. I, I like to do it from time to time, you know what I mean? Because sometimes it's like, yeah. you know, you're, like, you, you, you're knackered and you need to get off stream or you've got things to do and whatnot, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, I just I was just in a chatty mood last night, so I just wanted to just chat with guys like and... It sounded yeah. like a podcast. Like I love a podcast. It sounded yeah. like I was listening to a podcast and just it, it was good. It was nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, but, you know, we, we, we talked about a whole range of discussions and then of course it moved on to getting drunk and scat chat and stuff like that. It's like, <laughs> oh my god, where are we going with this? Like, Some you know of your know stories. I was like, brilliant. Absolutely. Nicking the traffic light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I think, yes, I think the best yeah. was when I, when I nearly got when I nearly died of anaphylactic shock falling into the stingers <laughs> when I was drunk. <laughs> it's like what? what oh, oh, wicked. But we're here for the Division 3, guys. This is what I used to stream a, a, a year ago, yeah. wasn't it? The Division yeah. 3, uh, 3 lot. Shrews, Chalks, got a few. Uh, dual coot. He'd be at the back of the field as always. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> and Shrews, of course, he guaranteed no matter if he wins or whatever, he'll be in the Discord moaning later on. He'll be in the oh, stream he's, chat moaning. Yeah, he's probably already I mean, said he hates this track and he'll get a podium. No, uh, absolutely, mate. Well, I've just uh, I've got to put a quick note up in the Discord. Uh... We're just waiting for one guy, uh, Tom Stroud. He's just uh, just going from work. Actually, he was stuck in traffic, and um... yeah. But yeah, we're here for the Circus of America. It's um, very tricky track. The, the S's, the S's, obviously from Silverstone, is quite tricky to get. All the control users struggle quite hard to get the left and rights going. But then once you get onto sector two and three, it's a bit more free flowing. Yeah, I call it the um, the Frankenstein tracks. It's it's like it is like a mixture of different tracks, all sort of bolted into the one one. I, I like it though, to be fair. I never used to like it. I used to hate the track with a passion, but you know, I just fell in love with Frankenstein. You know. Well, I just hope the Division Three lot are alive tonight and give us a great race. I uh, they 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 will, mate. They will. And you know, um, if it's boring, then we can always rely on Charles to torpedo somebody or something like that. Like you know what I mean? Oh, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Another victim. Yeah. Adam LB still in, still in PTSD, <laughs> mate. Yeah, in exactly. Um, Pumpy, how you doing? Let's go look at the chat. Super Ninja, welcome. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Jacob Jesus, are we running formation lap tonight because it's turned on? Well, that means we're running formation lap. So we hit the fact it's turned on, mate. There you go. Sarcastic thumbs up there from the racing guru. Yeah, formation <laughs> lap is on, mate. Uh, we're going to run a formation lap. We'll see how it goes. Um, I think still waiting for Tom to, uh, to jump in. Shaggy in tonight? He's, I don't think he's in the lobby yet. Um, Shaggy was supposed to... Just check the Discord, I'm sure. He, did he check in to race? Hang on, race check in. Right, let me invite you. I've seen that in the chat. No, is that he... Destroyer DRAC? Let me just get you in, mate. I think he's in, mate. Destroyer Drax in. Yeah, we're just waiting for Tom Stroud. Um, okay. He's the last guy. Uh, Shaggy's not racing, actually. I thought Dragoon was racing tonight. He's not racing either. Okay. Um... Just wait for Tom Stroud, and we'll just because I don't want to. Um, the, the problem is we found as we found with Kenzie Retro last night because the game was updated yesterday. And we found Kenzie Retro joined in queue, yeah, and it, yeah. it, it trashed the lobby. We had to restart the lobby because uh, they did the formation like everyone was just sat there. The the lights refused to go out, so we had to reset the lobby. Because you nicked them when you went out for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, there's that I suppose. Yeah, I hadn't thought about Turn that around. actually. It's in your gaming room. <laughs> yeah, I've still got it. It's beyond the green screen, mate. <laughs> well, let me just get um, Sim Hub up on my phone. So I've got yep. that ready to rock and roll for Biometry. Okay, right, we can go. Um, Boo 2K10, that is um, Tom Stroud. So uh, we're good. Okay. Happy we days. Can... Everyone is in. We can rock and roll. Good evening, uh, Drac, as well. as Ben Gaza. Just added you both on EA in case of loss of connection. Please invite me. Yeah, no problem, mate. Will do. Will do. Uh, good evening, gotcha. by the way, he says. Yeah, good evening to you, Drac, as well. Welcome in, my man. Okay, we are good to go. Uh, I'll just put a quick note for the Discord. Ready up, please. And um, we can rock and roll. Connection's not looking too bad, actually. So, yeah, a couple of yeah, reds. Yeah, all good. A couple of reds. Now, I'm going to get some league tables up, actually. I'm going to do that first of all because we've got some championship permutations. This, of course, is the penultimate race uh, for Tier 3. The final race next week at Spa. So we're just going to go to the uh, kebab pad a second and um, take a look at the standards going into tonight's race. All right, so there we go. Rusted Bolt is on 233 points. Darko Wave is on 194. Now, uh, Skeefy sent me a message. At least I think he sent me a message, or I might have seen it somewhere else. It was something to do with the permutations about tonight. I think it's along the lines of if Rusted Bolt outscores Darko Way by 14 points, Rusted Bolt wins the championship tonight. I think that's how it how it's going to pan out. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, so, yeah, Rusted Darko is 25 points for win, two of them 19. 
244. In fact, it's 12 points. Rusty Bolt needs 12 points tonight, I think, to win the championship. I think because they, to be honest, as I found out last night, guys, they've changed the point scoring system, right? And nobody, yeah. t- nobody told me. I still thought we were running the old one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a clue. Brilliant. And people were like, thinking, beer, it's like 25 points to win. I was like, no, it's nice, 45. I was like, no, it's, I'm like, I was like, it's fucking league, is it? And I'm thinking, yeah, not mine anymore because I ain't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, I believe it's 25 points. Right, we're going to go back to command centre and then track. In fact, we're, we're going to go directly trackside, ladies and gentlemen. We'll take a look at uh, tonight's riders and riders. All right, I've got to give a shout out, first of all, though, to my man, Mr. Telfy. Stealthy Telfy, who comes in with a prime subscription 10 months in the Kebab House crew. Hey, welcome back, Telfy. Double thumbs up, you little superstar. Are we going to see you back next season? Come on, you know you want to do it. Yeah, man. It's not just for the race, it's so we can do PUBG socials again, just so I can kill you live on stream. Come on, you can do it, Telfy. <laughs> we want you back, we miss you. Uh, good evening, Wado. Says, good evening, uh, evening, ba- uh, ba- I said Baza. Who the fuck's Baza? Uh, Beer and Gaza. Hey. Good, Good evening, evening, man. Good evening, Mr. Water. We've got Snow, the first one round. All right. Uh, we're going to turn off the... My game sound sounds really quiet, but it's it doesn't matter, because as long as they can hear you, that's that's the important thing, you know what I mean? You've got to hear a bit of Gaza Burgess. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to give you a quick rundown of the drives in. Darko Wade, Iroh, Schumacher, Chods, Turbo Snow, Rusted Bolt, Armour King, uh, Codzilla, uh, Tom Stroud, that's Boo2K10, uh, Super Ninja, Jakey G, Cheeseman, OP Rallying, Sniper, Shrews, Julku, and Destroyer, Drak. So uh, those guys are our runners and riders tonight. I did think we had more, but I think Foreman's got problems with the internet. He's got a pikey hotspot connection, I think. Um, so he's out of action tonight. No um, Cheesy? Cheesy is there, mate. Uh, he's number 11. Oh, he's... Che- cheesy ah, is there. No, yeah. there he is. No, easy to be cheesy, yeah? Easy to be cheesy. Right, uh, do you know, I've just noticed I've got a bit of a glitch on my green screen. I'm just going to just shunt it. Yes, come um, obviously we've got one round of qualifying around this track it's um, a lap length of 5.513 kilometers Ooh. pole position is on the right hand side of the track you've got two DRS zones here and you've got distance from the grid to turn one is 230.8 meters uphill which is going to be interesting beer you can go you could take turn one three or four or five different ways it's interesting well I've just had a stats and comms overload. I am so turned on right now after hearing all that. I, it's <laughs> unbelievable. And you've got more work to do, guys. So come and call this out. Come and call this hot lap for Turbo Here Snail, we mate. go, people. As you can see, uphill into turn one for the first time round in Division 3. I'm going to say right hand side of the track. Dab the brakes. He's got traffic here on the left hand side. Want to keep that car straight. Get back on the football as you come out of turn one into the kink of turn two. All the way flat out through here. There's a copycat of Silverstone. We've got turn three. Turn four coming up. We've got turn five. Carry as much speed as possible. You don't need the brakes until you get to here. There you go on the left hander now. Easy to get in validations as you come up to the exit of the hill. We see famously the two Ferraris, or was it one, breaking their suspension. Coming downhill to the first back, uh, first DRS zone. This is looking good so far from Snail. We've got a DRS activation zone just coming up now. You can hear the ping. There it is. As you've gone long, long straight here. You see something overtakes as you come up to turn 12. Hard on the brakes, downhill to turn 12. You want to carry as much speed as possible. Go to the left hand side of the track up to turn 13. Swing round to the kink of turn 13. Easy to lose the rear end here. You've got a lot of corners coming up here. Left hander coming up to sector three now. Obviously, purple sector the first time round on this track. You can see flat out through here. This is where we see, I believe, Max Verstappen getting uh, infringement there as he cut the corner. Coming up to the last two corners, left hander. Sun glazing into the eyes of Snow on the last corner now, left hander. DRS activated. What time's he going to do? A 133.6. Mate, that's a tidy lap. That is a really tidy lap for uh, a banker. <coughs> um, good jump on board. Thank you so much for doing that hot lap call, by the way. Mate. I need to get no your, gra- your own graphic. Kenzie's got a graphic for hot lap. You need one too. I'll get that sorted <laughs> the next time you do a stream. We're a bit dusty still. It's been a while. But, yeah. Uh... No, it's, it's super duty, mate. My, my nipples are hard. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Doc Way, just, just under a tenth slower. But yeah, already the. Um, the Alpha Tower is looking hot. 
Uh, Godzilla's just uh, started uh, a run down the uh, the, hot, the long back stretch between turns 11 and 12. Oh, go on then, Cod. Go on, is it you? Bit of warp speed. Hold up tight. It's going to stick it to the wall now, you watch. <laughs> Come on, Godzilla. Just purple sector two. 102, 997, sector two split. Very quick so far. Yeah, we'll use that as the benchmark, but that's quick, mate. That's quick. There may be a couple of cars coming through. Uh, they're going to come through ahead of him, but we're going to stay with Codzilla. We'll try and get on all the cars during this Q session. Um, so we're going to see if probably a, maybe a couple of cars come through ahead of him, or they may be just starting hot laps. Not sure, actually. But here comes Codzilla. Oh, that's a horrible turn 20. It's blind, isn't it? The sun beating down your face. Or is that just a reflection mm -hmm. of Shrews' chrome dome? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, Cod there just nicks in between the two Alpha Towers there. 133.669. OP running. OP running. Where is he? There he is. Just coming through. Tricky turn 17 and 18. Flat out all the way. Come on. Be brave. Be brave, mate. In towards turn 19. Oh, yeah. Completely cuts that apex. That's how you do it. Into turn 20 again. Just watch your braking spot. Make sure you don't uh, track extend on the exit. Looking tidy for Mr. OP. 134.201 Gaza for his first run. So, uh, who else we got next? We got, got uh, Sniper. Mr. Sniper. Oh, validated. Okay, she's just started a push lap. We've got uh, Armour Kings in Sector 3. Yeah, it's coming out of turn 18. Uh, just coming through turn 18 now. Yeah, that sun's beating down, mate. On the uh, As you exit turn 19, that's short between turn 19 and turn 20. It is Very like, tricky to see the braking zone. Yeah, it is, mate. It is, mate. You can literally run over people there and not even know it. Like You just don't see them. <laughs> uh, 134 flat there for Armour King. Puts him in the P5. Uh, Rusted Bolt from the push. Chultz! Chultz. He's down on Cod's time, mate, by half a second. Sector 2 split. Cod's uh, looking on fire at the moment, mate. He is. Yeah, definitely. Let's see what um, the Stanley Bomber can do on his first run. Just set a banker lap, 134.581. There we go, it's P7. Uh, Super is retired from the session. He's left the session. Did he mean to do that? He's going to have to join off somebody. Let's see if I can invite him. Uh, we've got Shrews uh, just coming through 17 and 18. I'll catch up with the chat. Uh, Shrews has backed out. No, okay, so going to go back with Rusted Bolt. Okay, they'll have to ping up in the Discord, so I'll have to give them an invite. It's the problem, isn't it, with the, this EA malarkey? We're kind it of is. hamstrung it, aren't we? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. All right. we got coming around, I believe it's Rusted Bolt. Is he on a flyer? Yeah. I just don't see if put in the chat. Setting change to casual and put me on automatic. I, are you rejoining the lobby, though, dude? Yeah, I've no idea what that, that means exactly. Is it changed for everybody or just you? Oh, Rusted Box is validated. Easy to invalidate round here. It is, mate. Uh, Cheesy's on a lap at Cheesy? Moment. Yeah. Just and you're full throttle for 59% of a lap. Really? The downforce level is medium and the gear changes per lap, 66. Unlike, oh, unless you're me, and it's not, it's like, gee, 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 like my gear shift is <laughs> awful in this game, I tell you. It sounds like yeah. a rally car. Mine's like about 437 gear changes, and that's just going through <laughs> one corner. <Yeah. laughs> And the pit lane loss, time loss, is 18.6 seconds. Obviously, un unless it's safe car purchase. Oh, <laughs> no. ladies and gentlemen, Gaza Burge is the new stats guru for TIR. <laughs> what a, what a guy! Wow. As Cheeseman goes purple in Sector 2. Uh, that's a glitch, mate, because I've just seen his Sector 2 split, and it's not very it's not very good. Uh, he is well down, so I think we've got a glitch there. Um, again, it's like, it's crazy, isn't it? Codemasters, they put an update, and all of a sudden, all the old glitches start to reappear again. I think it's... that's what they do with every series. They bring glitches back that we've missed. They're like, oh, we need to bring this one back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's, yeah, you nailed it, mate. You nailed it. Okay, yeah. Tuesday comes through. 35, 1, 1, 2. That is P8. Uh, Rusted Bolt is not on a push. Joku, good cop, is on a push lap. Uh, Skeefy says, damn, this game actually looks good in this light. Hey, man, what about the streamer? I look good in any light, mate. <laughs> uh, Telfy says Shaggy's done the groundwork. This is regarding Telfy potentially coming back to TIR. Shaggy's done the gr uh, groundwork. Might show for next season. I'm like a child who went to uni and spread my wings a bit. Turns out the real world is scary and expensive. I should come home. Damn right. The key is under the mat, Telfy. You've just got to let yourself in, dude. Oh, you know that's what I'm beautiful. saying.
Jason says, just been racing a 10v10, so good luck tonight, everyone in Division 3. Thank you, Jace. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, Jason. As oh. Joel Coop comes into the pits. Yeah, he does come into the pits, indeed. So, um, I don't think we've got anybody in. Is that what I was just about to start a lap? Rusted Bolt. Is that, is that Rusted Bolt just starting a lap? Oh, he's missed turn one. Completely. He's got turn one completely wrong there. Um, he took a he actually did a Rosberg. He took evasive action, but unfortunately, there's no Hamilton there. He just took evasive action against the shadow. I think by the looks of it. Um, <laughs> but he is now back on his feet again. But he did get turn run wrong, so he's lost time there. We'll just see how he gets on. Just coming to the, the right at the top of the hill now, turn ten or turn nine and turn ten. Uh, tidy though, it's tidy. He's recovered quite nicely. Coming down to uh, turn eleven, this it's a tricky corner. It's, it's a very wide approach, and it's a hairpin. It tightens mm -hmm. up on the, on the apex. I think he's just missed the apex there. Uh, very blind. Keen to get a good exit. Yeah, um, DRS is wide open. He's going to make his way down now towards um, turn twelve. Another hairpin, another left hander, about a hundred degree left hand hairpin. I uh, got to try and pick your braking spot amongst the glare of that setting sun. But uh, yeah, well, it's weird. It's setting sun. It's like America. It's daytime. I don't get that. Anyways, <laughs> I don't get that. Uh, through turn 14, into turn turn the tricky turn 15, as I love to call it. It's such a difficult corner to try. As you said, Gaz, there's about it's like turn one. There's about four or five different ways you can take it's it. It's very similar to turn 11 at Bahrain. The turn 11, where it's sort of swinging the car around and the camber to sort of reverse. It's easy to mm. lose the rear end. Oh, it's, uh, I, I find a, a few new ways of taking it. Normally, it's into a wall. <laughs> You know what I mean? Mine's um, because... facing the other way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 133.977. So Rusted Bolt actually did put together a pretty tidy lap there. I think he just lost a bit of time going up to turn one. Uh, but then recovered. Uh, Cod is down. He is not improving. Darko Wade's back to come through. Has he improved? No. Uh, he's got Shrews. Just oh, about to put his first lap time down. Do we have to, do we have to jump on Shrews? I suppose. Yeah. Give him some just air time, Just to let time, the people watching, the stream has not slowed down. This is Shrews race yeah. uh, on a hot lap. <laughs> now, Kils, then that, now uh, you've got this horrible glare, and I really feel sorry for the sun now. The sun's even put its, it, the sun's put, put its own pair of shades on because the glare that's glinting off Shrews' chrome dome. Is that his crash helmet or his forehead? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, mate. But yeah, I mean, I, I feel you've got to feel sorry for the sun here coming into turn 20 because Shrews is just blinding the sun now. Uh, but anyway, here comes here comes the, the Nigelator. What's he going to do? Good time. Oh, hey, three, five, four, four. Oh, my there days. Great lap. Uh, but Turbo Snow is up. Was up at the sector 2 split. I think Turbo Snow is just about to retake P1 here, mate, as long as he doesn't uh, mess up the final couple of corners. Still got five minutes left in the queue, so there's going to be at least another run for every driver. But Turbo Snow has, has hooked up a really good lap here. Keep an eye on it. Oh, he's done it. He's done it with ease. Wow. 133.204. Is it possible, guys, we could see somebody get to the 132s here? What do you think? Hey, that's a quick time. That's a very quick time. Three and a half times quicker than Nige. I thought Nige's was good. Yeah, I was. Um, right, Drac is coming into the pits. Okay, he's bailed out. Armour King, Sector 3. We'll just go with Armour King. Drac is retired from the session. That's interesting. Why is he retired from the session? That's strange. We've only got one lap, uh, one session of qualifying. Unless he's just saving his tyres for the race. As Charles goes P3, 33.522. Here comes Armour King. Goes P6 with a 33.755. It's starting to ramp up here, ladies and gentlemen. OP rallying is made, uh, he's invalidated. Cheesy's on the push lap. Jakey G is invalidated. Sniper is picking his own line there, by the looks of it. Uh, Tom Stroud. Oh, he's way up on his previous time. We'll just stay with him for a minute. That's Boo 2K10, aka Tom Stroud. Uh, what are the chances? Shrews' sh shine off his head is blinding everyone. Needs an FIA investigation. <laughs> ah! Now, destroy a drag. At least he's honest, mate. He's just said yep. he, didn't, he didn't actually retire from the session. Uh, when he came into the pits, he hit the pit wall and DNF'd. <laughs> Oh, we should have got that on stream. I Jesus. know, I jumped off his car, mate. That would be so funny. I've done that in a practice race earlier. It's so easy to do. Jewel Cooch is coming around the last two corners now. Oh, let's jump on Jewel. But it's so easy to do because you're flat out and you've got it, but then you're in the wall. Oh, mate. I remember that classic. We, we, me and you did comms at, at Monaco. I think it was... <laughs> um, Shui SF7, or no, no, it was S77, wasn't it? Oh, Sam. That's right. He, he, was yeah. P, he was P1. And, he, <laughs> and we were like, oh, oh, he's just done an overtake. What a move going to Zandavot. He stuck it straight in the wall. <laughs> Ended into the casino and played yeah. poker. Jokuk <laughs> <laughs> goes seventh with a, uh, what did he do? 
starting that off with a 133.8. Oh, I don't think... Oh, we've got Lester Bolton on our lap, so I don't... I think Armour King and... Oh, Armour King's just climbed oh, the pit wall as well! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I jumped on him just as he climbed the pit wall. Oh, mate. Oh, brilliant. Comedy goal. Right, Rusted Bolt is... Uh, I'm going to just come off the uh, the main cam, going to the broadcast cam, because Rusted Bolt's on an outlap. Um, uh, how the, how's the audio, by the way, guys? Because we're not actually in Xbox Party. We're actually on Discord. We're in a Discord uh, co uh, vo voice call. We thought we'd... Because uh, the, the Xbox app, for some reason, is just playing up for me. Yeah, the it's for me, it's my end, I think. Out. I think it's an old, like, World War Two radio. It keeps just breaking <laughs> out. I was, I was at to send you Morse code earlier to let you know that it's not working. <laughs> Oh, that's what it was. I wonder what that bloody noise was. I thought it was, I thought it was, I thought it was like fucking the timer going off my cooker, mate. <laughs> right, here oh. comes Rusted Bolt in the Alpha. Yeah, just about to start a push lap. Liam Harbin, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, TIR Esports, ahead of Esports, actually. Well, I'm just actually, I'm just checking Esports server, make sure he's still there, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, no one's left the server. Excellent. Okay. Because we did announce a Muppet a um, couple of weeks ago, and he... He decided to join. He joined us and then joined another team within a couple of hours. What a dickhead! Yeah, and wow. he knows exactly what I'm talking about. Hopefully, he's watching just so I, he knows because he's tried trolling me on Twitter. You see, and um, the thing is with the racing gear is you can't troll the racing gear and get away. Oh. I will own you. People just have too much time on their hands, don't they? Yeah, yeah. All right. So who else we got on flyers? As we got two minutes left on this qualifying session, there's not three rounds of qualifying. It's just one session. So it's all about these next two minutes, beer. Absolutely, mate. Uh, Rusty Bolt is on a push at the moment, just making his way down to uh, hairpin at turn uh, number eleven. He's got a lot of traffic actually. Uh, no, it's... Yeah. Uh, Charles has retired. Oh, it's just the M25 pits. on rush hour. That uh, it is, long mate. Straight. It is, mate. Look at them all. They're all weaving from side to side and. But uh, yeah, Bolt, Bolt's on a hot. Uh, everyone's got out of the way, to be fair, which is good. We're going to keep an eye on the sector two split. Uh, one oh two. Oh, he's half a second up. Oh, this. Yeah, this could be challenging, mate. This could be, he could be challenging the front row here. If he can just hook it up in this final set. Just just coming through tricky turn fifteen. Uh, Drucking a chance is the on ball game. Game sounds a little bit loud. Otherwise, you both sound super bad in the next box. All right, what I'll do is I'll just turn the game sound down a notch after qualifying, uh, just to. Uh, so you can still hear the dulcet tones of uh, the Tinder King himself during the race. Okay, <laughs> Rusted Bolt now. Has he put this on the front row? This is going to be close. He has. 133.419. That's a great lap. But Shrews and Turbo Snow are on outlaps. Uh, Codzilla was up at Sector 1. Uh, who have we got elsewhere on track? I think everyone's just starting their outlaps at the moment. Yeah. It's that um, rush to the line. Jakey G's on a push. I think he's just coming down the uh, the back straight. Yeah, he was up at his sector one. Where's Codzilla at the moment? Codzilla is behind him. So we're going to jump on board with Jakey G. He's currently three and a half temps up on his uh, previous lap. Oh, nice. Now, Jakey G's coming at the sector two split, and it's 103.266. He's only half a second up. What about Cod sector two split? Cod's up by two tenths. Oh, Cod could be challenging the front Cod row here, mate. He is flying. He is swimming. flying, mate. He's flying today. I think he's got Findy. I'm driving for him again, I reckon. <laughs> uh, we'll just comes. watch uh, Jakey finish his lap because then I'll jump straight into Cod, who is just behind him on on track. Um, Jakey, though, looking pretty nice. I do like this Williams livery. It does look pretty neat. It's very nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's sexy. Uh, Jakey G is going to come through. He's going to certainly improve. And uh, he's P11. Here comes Codzilla. P2. He's on the front wow. row. He misses out on pole. Look how but close that is. Shrews is still out and about. Uh, Turbo Gigi. Snail is... Turbo Snail's invalidated. He's not going to go any quicker. It's all down oh. to Shrews. Look, right. Cheesy coming around the last few corners oh. now. He's pretty much dead on his time at the moment. Okay, so he's... Um, he could possibly just jump ahead of Jakey G if he has a... Oh, no, he's got it all wrong. He's got it all wrong at the final corner, I think. And But does improve. Wow, goes P10. But eyes now are on... Oh, Armour King's way up. Where's Shrews? I think Shrews is just ahead of him on track, I think. Yeah, Shrews is just ahead of him. That's yep. Armour King. So Shrews is... Both these, both these drivers, I think, mate, are going for pole here. What can Shrews do? Can he stick this on pole? It's He was up. It's sector two split. It was up appreciably. Here he comes, coming into the final corner now. Turn 20. Throws the car in. The Alpine, the resplendent Alpine livery. Has he got provisional pole? No, he's outside. Oh. What about Armour King? This is going to be close. He gets pole in oh, the end with a 133 flat. Oh, wow. what a lap. What a lap. But we still Anyone got guys else to answer this boot 2K10? That is Tom Shroud. 
Yeah, Iro Schumacher looks like he's not setting a lap. He's going to start at the back of the grid, but here comes uh, uh, Tom Stroud. Oh, this this looks pretty decent. It does. P8 oh, there. Yeah. 133, 693. I tell you, mate, for a long lap, it's looking pretty tight there. It very much so. Less than a second covering the top uh, 10 drivers by the looks of it, dude. Um, but yeah, look at that. Armour King. Armour King takes pole. Little death there. Shrews couldn't quite hook up that final sector, but did improve. He still improved to go uh, P6 to 133, 466. But what a lap from Armour King, mate. Great, great lap. We thought Shrews was going to do it, but Armour King was like, hold on a minute. Not with not me. 133.0. Like you said, bit almost into the 32s. Yeah, it was so close, mate. I'm just going to take a screenshot. I'm not doing a selfie. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Just in case the lobby falls down. There we go. Got it. So, uh, there we go, ladies and gents. We're just waiting for the uh, the session, the countdown clock on us for the session to uh, count that to zero. I, I hate when it makes us wait like this. It's just, it's just, it's just be like, end it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Turbo Snare says, GG's Armour King, I invalidated when I was need two tenths up. That's just not good enough, mate. <laughs> All right, let's give you a rundown then of uh, the qualifying session. So Armour King takes pole position, joined by Turbo Snell on the front rows. That's going to be fascinating. Uh, Darko Wade and Codzilla on row two. Rusted Bolt and Shrews, the Rusted Bolt Championship leader, of course, on row three. Chultz and Tom Stroud, row four. Julku and Destroyer Drac, row number five. Cheeseman and Opie rally in row six. Jakey G and Sniper on row number seven. And then we have uh, Iroh Schumacher and Super Ninja unable to set times there. They'll be starting row eight. Now, for the championship, the key thing is Darko made us qualified ahead of Rusted Bolt. He has to beat Rusted Bolt tonight and beat him by quite a few positions if this championship is going to go, go and actually still be alive going into next week's season finale at Spa, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, Darko Way, he's got the first bit right. He's out-qualified his championship rival. And... Um, you see what happens. Right, let's go uh, back to the command centre. As we can see when the race starts in a few moments' time, turn one is very interesting as they go uphill. We're going to see about three, four cars go uh, abreast into turn one. Obviously, pole position starts on the right-hand side of the track. Indeed, it does, mate. I'm just putting a quick note up in the Discord. Ready up. Yeah, go on. At uh, 21.05. So I, I, I got a bit sidetracked because you mentioned the word breast and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Only need two sacks, mate. Just gonna get that so we've got there. three minutes to start for this Division 3 race. And like Pierre said, next next race is in Spa. And what a season finale that will be. Oh, I love Spa. Love a bit of Spa. It's actually great unusual track. to have a season finale at Spa, but it's a great track. Oh, it's the most iconic. Well, one of the most iconic mm. tracks on the calendar. So I love the way Total Impact Racing do it with the, the mixed calendar. It spices things up. Oh, yeah. We love a bit of mixed, mixed things. Um, what's going on there? Um, no, we don't do that. Okay, so I can't go into the settings to change the game sound when we're in mid-game menu. That's Okay, that's a new one on me. All right. Let's take a look at the league table, shall we? Again, just remind ourselves of the permutations going into tonight's race, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so there we go. Rusted Bolt is leading the way on 233 points. Darko Wade on 194. There's still 52 points up for grabs by my calculation. So Darko Wade can still finish potentially on 246 points. So Rusted Bolt needs to score 14 points tonight to guarantee the championship. Or it will go... And, and that's regardless of what Darko Wade does. Um, so I think... The gap's 29 points. Yeah, if Rusted Bolt finishes ahead of Darko Way, Rusted Bolt's champion. I think that's I think that's it. Ooh. I think that's the permutation. Um, Darko Way has got to win both final races and get bonus points for fastest laps, and uh, Rusted Bolt's got to score less than 14 points. So it's going to take some doing. It's, it's We've seen you know, strange things have happened. We've seen some crazy things in this league in the past, but um, that is going to take some doing, ladies and gentlemen. But anything can happen in Formula 1. Yeah. Oh, it's league racing beer. Anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. A bit of classic Murrayism there for you. All right. <laughs> let's head back to the command centre. All right, guys. I'm going uh, to pin you down on the spot. I don't mean in a dirty way. I just mean pin you down. Sorry. I was I about to say, we're live. That came out completely wrong. That was last <laughs> week when, when, the live, when we weren't live. Okay. What were you going to say? Let's try that again, <laughs> shall we? Um... <laughs> To be fair, you have got me tied up, but it's right, yeah. 
<laughs> All right, prediction. Who's going to win, mate? Oh, wow, 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 we, wow, we. I have to say, uh, obviously, I've got a few friends in this league, so I'm not going to choose no favouritism and stuff like that, but I think it's Chultz. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> last week, Chultz did show pace, but I'm going to say Turbo Snow. Fancy Turbo Snow would do it. He was I'm quick last Turbo. week as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he was quick last week. He had a great race last week. Mm. Okay. I'm going to go for... Um, hmm. Oh, I don't know. But who invalidated? Who was it? If someone invalidated, that was Rusty Bolt when it invalidated near the end, or was it Turbo Snow? Turbo Snow. He was oh, matching. Yeah, I'm gonna go Turbo Snow. Well, he claimed he was up. I didn't see it. He could have been three seconds down for all we know. You know. Yeah. He might have just been blagging us. It's... Oh, I don't know. Um, okay, I've left field prediction: Godzilla for the win for me. Oh, that's not a bad shout. That's not a bad shout. He showed some pace. He showed some pace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, don't know, I was talking to Turbo Snell the other day in the party. He's a nice guy. Yeah, I was having a few, uh, practice race with him. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Uh, why is it? Why is it? Uh, auto modders. Oh, okay. Oh, because Liam. Apparently, I'm not allowed to have the word numpty in my stream chat. What? I'm going to turn auto mod off. It's getting ridiculous. Auto mod is just stream like... chat. Don't my up? It don't update sometimes on my Twitch. Might need to update the app. Yeah, it's it, auto mod holds it. It, it, it doesn't appear for anybody apart from like the streamer and um, yeah I need to change I think the auto moderation is it's, it's a bit too draconian to be fair uh, numpty is and it's definitely numpty I mean yeah no yeah if you said pause I'll say yeah yeah oh hello <laughs> oh formation lap formation lap right okay then let's get the uh, the tyre strats up for you guys watching at home uh, oh, it's a mixture gas. We've got a real mixture of strats on there, mate, by the looks of it. Let's have a look. Let's see if this formation lap works. Obviously, we've known that it's been a bit glitchy. We'll find out in a bit. But uh, all three tie compounds, mate, all three slick tie compounds on show for the start of the race. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like to see that. Yeah, it, 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 it's good because it, it misses, it um, mixes things up a little bit. And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, when, you spin, when, when we announce the plans for next season, oh, you're going to see some really interesting tyre strategies for the races, I'm telling you. That's all I'm going to say. A little spoiler. You can try and work it out yourself as to what we're doing next season. But, um, yeah, some big changes. Excited. Oh, yeah. Um, but this is going to be interesting because Armour King's obviously going to be vulnerable at the start. Turbo Snail is going to try and get a run in him up to turn one. And watch out for Dark 08 and Codzilla on the race start as well. Uh, they're going to be mm -hmm. pretty quick. Uh, always tricky to get those harder tyres lit up at the start of a race. And uh, a bit further down, look for uh, Destroyer Drac and Cheeseman to make uh, ground. If they don't, obviously, run, they don't get involved in instance. Um, look for them to make uh, ground early doors there on those soft compound tyres because for their race strat to work, they've got to get some overtaking done quickly. Yeah. I think his armour kin needs to get a good start because, like you said, he's yeah. on the harder compound. Once his tyres are up to a good temperature, he's going to be well away. But the thing is, with the medium runners, they're going to be a little bit quicker off that line and up to T1, <laughs> you want to you want to be on the inside. Or if even if on the outside, actually, you can see some overtakes on the outside. But through the S's on them hard tyres, very interesting. Ooh, tricky, mate. Yeah, it's tricky. The one good, the one saving grace they're going for the S's is not impossible, but difficult to get to get some, any overtaking done through the S's. Yeah. But, um, as you said, mate, it's the run up to turn one to the critical, and also because it's a big uphill, big incline up to turn one, you've got more chance of harder, harder tyres wheel spinning off the line and That's not right. getting any traction or grip <laughs> because the road is basically working against you rather than for you. All right, but here we go then, ladies and gents. Um, 28 laps, hopefully, if the, if the um, formation lap works, this Turbo, Turbo Snow is disqualified as a sniper. <laughs> and the cars are just e easing their way up. Jakey G is disqualified as well, and fingers crossed we're not going to have... And OP Rowling is disqualified. Jesus Christ, there's a pit box. Any of you know what that, thing, what that means? Here we go, ladies and gents. We're about to go racing. Four lights, five lights. The lights are lit. The lights go out, and it's showtime, and I tell you what, Con, I think it was Con, had a horrendous start. Uh, but Armour King, he's got Turbo Snow immediately going up the inside of the two Alpha Tauri's putting pressure as they come through turn one, and I think Turbo Snow may have just got the lead. He has. 
That's big, big, big for Turbo Snail. Dark away, tucked in right behind. So come for the S's for the first time. Yeah, Godzilla uh, got uh, got real, got stuck into limp mode or something. He's dropped down to P8. I was watching that Ferrari. Just did not get off the line at all. <laughs> Uh, Joel Coot and uh, Destroyer Drac having a bit of... Oh, we've got some, uh, someone's missing an M plate. I've just seen Carbon Fiber go Ooh, flying off a car. Someone almost spinning his OP, OP rally and spinning out. All right, is he... I think he... It, oh, uh, Joel Coot's dropped it. Drew Coot's on the wall. He's DNF'd. Oh, no. Oh, Joel my Coot. word. Joel Coot's got me. Got a VSC. Virtual safety car. Oh, my days. I was just literally on board there with Joel Coot as he just... It was it was almost like slow motion. Do you remember Ste at China that time? He sort of tiptoed up to the wall and, and his wheel <laughs> fell off. It was just, like, it was just it. like that. It's like a Lego piece. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, virtual safety car. The cars will be driving down to a slower delta. Uh, like I said, though, the Turbo Snow and their medium tyres. Armour King didn't get the start he wanted to, and Turbo snow has got that lead as at the moment. Yeah, that's big for his race mate. Uh, for his strat, obviously needs to jump uh, Armor King as he's as he's as he's done so. And uh, now, once once we get back to uh, proper racing, he'll be looking now to lean on those tyres for the first couple of laps and try and start to push and uh, get a nice little cushion back to Armor King. He'll be hoping also that his teammate Darko Wade can also clear Armor King and then the Alpha Tauris can get to work. Uh, for Darko Wade, of course, it is important because he needs to outscore Rusted Bolt in a big way. Bolt, by the way, did not get the best of starts. He is down in P7. We'll have a quick look at the uh, the uh, position changes. Yeah, da uh, we've got some overtake. Oh, guys coming in the pits. Godzilla's in the pits. Destroyer Drac is in the pits. Interesting calls there whether that's uh, for damage or whether that is just a strategy call but we are back on the green flags Gaza Burgess take it away mate. we are back underway people a bit of instance at the beginning but it's league race isn't racing it always going to happen like Beer said that's three drivers coming into the pits for a bit of first lap damage as Tobas, Tobas now gets us back underway you got Armour King in second place. We've got Darko Wade third. We've got the Shrews in at fourth and Chultz up to fifth place. We've got two medium runners getting a good start and getting a jump on the hard runners ahead of them. Hopefully, Cod can get them soft tyres on and push his way back through the field. We've seen it in qualifying. He has that pace. Is he hoping for a safety car doing about how many bit laps beer? 10, 8 laps on the softs? I reckon so, mate. Some of the guys did go quite a long way yesterday, almost 10 laps on those soft tyres yesterday. The, the, the tyre decks seem to be quite low. Of course, you can check beer lemetry, uh, ladies and gents, for those who've actually got beer lemetry turned on. It should be all of them. Uh, here comes Charles looking perhaps for a move. There's no DRS, of course, until uh, lap number three. Uh, but Charles is already looking racy, mate. Um, he's, I think he still feel he feels aggrieved that he got screwed last week with the, uh, oh, the safety you know, car and whatnot. I was in a party with him last week watching your stream, and I just felt so, felt so bad for him. It's one of them things that happens in league racing. You can have a fantastic race, but the, the safety car can mess you up. Absolutely. I mean, it, it messed up Dragoon last night. Dragoon was um, going for back-to-back for back -back wins in uh, Tier 4. Um, was mild, was just so much quicker than anybody else, but the safety car came out at the wrong time, and he was leading. Mm -hmm. So everyone else, because there's only like about eight laps to go, everyone else did what he did the opposite of what he did. So he stayed out, everyone <sighs> pitted on, onto softs, and he was screwed. But he came. It's one he, of them. He managed to get a podium there still, unbelievably. Fair play. It's like a flip of a coin sometimes. Sometimes it can work for you, sometimes it can't. But we think it was Chultz last week. When he came into the pits, it was just after another safety car. So the cars were already packed up, and mm. with the. You, you can't get an advantage from it. Yeah, it right, sucks, mate. We've got, we've got right. Darko Wade currently six and a half temps behind Armour King. Yeah, we've got DRS now is, is uh, activated, ladies and gents. So Darko Wade's going to be shaping up for move here. It's just filtering through the S's, coming up through uh, turns uh, nine and uh, ten, top of the hill, and then winding, winding down towards the tricky turn uh, 11, this hairpin. But Darko Wade should be close enough for a run here with the DRS because Armour King has not got DRS. Yes. But let's see. Armour King does get a pretty good exit, to be fair. But now the Here DRS is cooking in. Here he comes. Yup. Uh, this is going to be like taking candy from a baby. See you later, easy, mate. Easy lemon squeezy. I could see him setting it up, coming out the two corners before that. He just tapped the overtake button just to get that little bit closer to him as they come onto the back straight. Yeah, that was smart driving there. Charles wasn't quite close enough to get a move done on Shrews. Shrews, uh, both these guys, they won the hard compound tyre. Charles is there. A bit of understeer, I just noticed there on Charles' car. Coming through uh, turn 13. Uh, but he is, of course, carrying a heavy fuel load and those hard tyres. So it's natural to get a little bit of understeer until the tyres start to really light up. Um, Roland, good evening, by the way, in the chat. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, Welcome Roland. The, uh, the mad Dutchman. Good to see you, my bud. <laughs> uh, what have you got further down the field? Uh, Tom Stroud there is just tucked in behind Chops. Uh, we've got a bit of a scrap there. Cheeseman 
Uh, it's made ground. Uh, he's up to P8 on those soft compound sides. Oh, oh he's dropped it! He's dropped oh. it! He's in the wall! Hold on! <laughs> Why do we do it, Beer? Why do we do it? It's not we press the button. It's not we. He's having, he's having a good start of the race. Press the button. He's fucked. Quality. Um, <laughs> you just can't beat a good old commentator's curse. Oh, it was like last week when I was in comms with you in Division 4. I said to the guys, let's have a clean race. We've got through to turn three perfectly clean. Yes, we're... No, there's a crash. Safety belt. Yo's DNF. Oh, that was in qualifying, wasn't it? When he, I think he heard you... The moment you went on comms, oh, I switched yes. onto his car. He crashed three seconds later. <laughs> oh, we've got Chult sniffing at the rear end of Shrews at the moment in that Red Bull. That's pretty stinky, mate. <laughs> That's pretty stupid. No, I don't... Has no DRS. Yeah, here comes Charlton. This, this again, this should be a straightforward overtake. Uh, Shrews moves over to the left. He's not even fighting this one. No point. And Charles is through. DRS uh, is very OP sometimes. It is on this track, mate, for sure. Uh, Shrews just playing the long game, really. No point in fighting and knackering his ties. Um, mm -hmm. It was let him pass, and then he'll try and uh, just stick with him now. Uh, but Charles already up to P4. This is looking tasty for Charles. He can smell a potential race win here because he is on. The alternate strategy, of course, hard to mediums, or possibly, depending on what happens in safety car situations, hard to soft. Hard to soft. So, um, Chultz is looking pretty good at the moment. The two Alpha Tauris, though, leading the way. Turbo Snail and Darko mm -hmm. Way. I've, I wonder, guys, if we're going to see team orders, if, if it stays the way it is. Uh, a little bit later on in the race, we'll see some team orders. Uh, Turbo yeah. Snail is going to be getting on the blower saying, come on, get out of the way, mate. You know, I'm, is I'm in the championship. With team orders as well, they're both on the same strategy, so they're going to have to talk to each other and just uh, not double stacked one pits before the other. Don't lose time in the pits. Have you noticed as well the two medium runners have gone ahead of the hard starters? Yeah, that was crucial for their races. Um, of course, it, it, as, it, 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 we, we will come back to the hard runners, obviously. Um, yeah. they're, on, they're on the like an alternate strategy, so they'll be on the quicker tyre for the second phase of the race. But um, to be fair, though, Armour King, Charles and Shrews are, are showing pretty solid race pace. They're not letting those two medium runners get too far ahead. A couple of three seconds, that's about it. And uh, we've got a penalty there for OP rallying. I've just noticed flag up uh, a few seconds ago. Currently down in P15 at the moment. They're not having a, a great race, but uh, plenty of time for that to change. Uh, Destroyed Drank, they're down in P14. Cod oh, Cod Tom Shrews. Shroud. Oh, yeah, that's a look at Tom Shroud. On, on Shrews' buddy, actually. Oh, hello, here we go. No holes barred fighting here between these two, but Tom Stroud is safely through and is up to P5. So a pretty good overtake there. But I say Shrews, is, he's, a, he's an old campaigner. Yeah, mm -hmm. He's not going to worry about this. He knows uh, his race is going to come later on when he switches on those medium compound size or possibly softs, depending on, as I say, uh, if there's a safety car. I mean, a hard to soft strut is just about possible without a safety car, but it's tricky. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. Oh, we've got Darko Waits. Oh, just is he going to be in DRS of Turbo Snow? Oh, no, he's just he is, out mate. of it. Yeah, Turbo Snow's pushing, mate. Yeah, no DRS for uh, Darko Wade. Right, Shrews may have a look here. He's just on the back end of Tom Shroud. He's got DRS open. Uh, Tom Shroud has no DRS, but I don't think he's going to be close enough coming into turn one. Yeah, uh, I got to. It's it's it's. You, it's, turn one's one of those corners where you want to send one up the inside. You're desperate to send one up the inside. It invites but, it, but it, yeah, it does. But it's like, it's a, it's a bit like the horny wench at the local pub. Like you're desperate. <laughs> yeah, she gives you the eye. You're desperate to jump in there, but you might just come out with a severe dose. <laughs> but if it's I mean? the end of the night and you have had a few too much, you might as well. <laughs> yeah. And then you regret it a little bit later when it starts going green. When you get a DNF or you get something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So Shrews is in within DRS of uh, Tom Shroud. He's going to get the overtake done here. Keeps the back end straight. He's going to tap that overtake button. Oh, but keep an eye on Rusty Bolt. Just behind him now. Rusty Bolt. Oh, look at oh. him. He's got overspeed here on Shrews. He's getting a lovely double toe, but he's going to wow. breeze past Shrews as if he wasn't there. Wow. Rustin Bolt is on a championship charge, but Shrews is fighting it on the outside. They give each other room. Oh, lovely switch back there from Shrews. Wow. Lovely switch back. Defending hard. He didn't give up the position. Is Rustin Bolt going to switch back again? This is a great little pasture race, me, ladies and gents. You want to get, start hitting that clip button because you're going to see some great racing here. We've got two Williams batting it out just behind them as well. Look at literally like a copycat of it the is, same overtake. Yeah. Wow. Here we go, ladies and gents. Uh, Lim Hardman and chances that soft medium is a possible strat. Well, at least, that's, at least that, I think that's what he's saying. He says. Soft slash M. I mean, are you talking like sadomasochism is a possible strategy, <laughs> or do you mean soft mediums? I presume you mean soft mediums. 
thing is, though, why he's not a battling out? Why six, seven um, is battling out with the, the, the ones ahead are just pushing away a little bit. Yeah, oh, a little bit now, mate. Yeah. Uh, a bit. JKG is just defending against Sniper there. Sniper's going to try and go around the outside. Oh, he breaks so much later than JKG. No love lost here. No team orders here. Sniper is back through against the overtake. Uh, yeah, that was actually it's pretty smart, mate. Uh, let's go back on the broadcast cam again, watching these three uh, Tom Strauss, Shrews, and Rusted Bolt. Um, how are we doing up front? Dark away. Uh, it's dropped out of DRS range on Turbo, but they are about two and a half seconds ahead of Armour King now. Oh, uh, this is going to get spicy. It is, mate. I need the Ainsley uh, Harriet thing, don't I? You know, the, ooh, spicy. Oh, spicy. You know, spicy. I, 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 do need, I do need that he pierce, mate. food too much. If I was cooking and he was doing that, I'd be like, get your fingers out of my food. Here they come, dear. <laughs> Okay, it is Rusted Bolt going to go for a move on Shrews up the inside into turn 12. <gasps> oh, Shrews has to get off the he has to get off the power on the brakes and has mm -hmm. lost position there. Uh, I think he had no choice there because Rusted uh, uh, Tom Stroud's car was like a blocking car, and Shrews yeah. just, just had to get off the power and uh, back out of that one and allow um, Rusted Bolt through. Uh, again, I think that's actually pretty smart by Shrews there. Otherwise, it's very be clever by Rusted Bolt as well. He went on the yeah. inside because he knew that uh, Tom Tom Stroud ahead. Would, like you said, would have been that wall. Yeah, absolutely. So he just positioned his car perfectly. It means he, he knew that Shrews was going to have to get off the power. He could just sneak through. But um, I say Shrews, is, you know, he doesn't need to be uh, too disheartened yet. Yes, he has lost three or four positions in the space of the same amount of laps. But it's all part of his race track. His race pace is solid. As here comes Rusted Bolt uh, trying to go around the outside of the Ferrari at turn one. Oh, they're going to be side by side going for the S's, mate. This is going to be epic. Oh, I'm on board with Shrews. This looks amazing. Shroud, Tom Stroud does d uh, defend well. I almost said Shroud again. I keep fucking saying Colin Shroud. <laughs> I don't know why. For those of you who don't know, Shroud, of course, is a wash streamer. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he is. So boring. He is boring, but he gets. How has he made it as big as he is? Because he's a brilliant game gamer. I mean, that's he's what just... he's a fantastic shooter. Yeah. But when he Fan... talks, like he started oh. playing DayZ now. Oh it's just, like, God. So depressing. Yeah. He's like, huh, yeah. <laughs> I was, just, I was gonna. Now I know. Now Shrews is on the back end now, Rusted Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's pretty um. Oh, here comes Rusty Bolt. Oh, he's got it. That's a send and a half. He locked up, but then Thomas <laughs> Stroud was through the rear end with Shrews. What a send from Rusty Bolt. That was Danny. <laughs> that was Danny esque, that was mate. But here comes Shrews. Shrews has got the overtake on Tom Stroud. Yeah, yeah. Shrews is back in as well. Uh, Nis F10, welcome. Hello there. Nice to see you. Welcome. Hello, to hello. Stream. Uh, the two Williams are scrapping away. Got yellows in sector three. Oh, who's that? It's a, a Red, Red Bull. Bull. That's Chultz. That's Chultz at a moment. Yeah, he's um, dropped down to P7. He's at a moment. Look at turn 18. I tell you, that overtake was something from Need for Speed or something. That was incredible. Oh, oh, oh yeah. He licked it and uh, put the stamp on that one, didn't he, mate? Yeah, he exactly. Sent it, mate. Absolutely. All right. Chultz comes into the pits after losing the rear end there. So the top yeah. three at the moment is Turbo Snow, Darko Wade, Armor King. Absolutely. Uh, let's have a look to see what's going on there. Uh, pit stops, incidents, drivers. Yeah, there we go. Let's look at some lap times there from Turbo Snail, for example. It's, of course, Tier 3, lapping around the uh, 137s, his fastest lap, dropping down now to the 139s. Of course, a little bit of wear uh, creeping in on these tyres, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, the two Alpha Tauris there at the moment, they're doing the good job. Of course, if you need to the stream, don't forget, you've got the old beer elementary there up in the top right-hand corner of your screen, giving all... The, uh, the car stats as we go along, uh, brake temperatures, tyre temperatures, fuel loads, DRS. Hey, it's uh, so interactive. If you ask it nicely, it'll make you a cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's got everything. And you know what? It's better than Sky because you don't have to press the red drop button. It's all there for you. Absolutely. I just, I, I, they, they, they make a fortune out of that. I'm going to have to start charging for it, mate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what I've noticed with TIR, uh, with Godzilla, um, he put the soft tyres on after having the incident on lap one, but he never capitalised on them soft tyres. So he's pitted again and he's on the hards. He will go through the end of the race on them easily. Yep, yeah, now we can. Yeah, 19 laps. Um, I'm... I'm kind of surprised he wasn't tempted to actually just stick the mediums on. The mediums will just about go to the end. Of course, any safety car. Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking that as he's down in P14, the mediums might be worth a pump. 
It is. But I'm looking at on board with Tom Shroud at the moment. When he had that incident, when he uh, sort of lost the rear end, his tyres are cooked at the moment. He just can't get close to... Um, who's that? Shrews. Well, Shrews on 30, 32 is on his rears. Of course, it is the rear tyres that take a pounding on this particular circuit. Rusted Bolt there uh, on the hards, um, about the same, 33%. Armoured King, 33%. It's pretty much the same. The medium runners at the moment are running on about 40% tyre wear on their rear tyres. Two tires. Williams. Yeah, we're going to look at two Williams there. What about Sniper and Jakey G having a scrap? Um, Jakey's been leaning on his tyres. We know Sniper's good on his tyres, but Jakey G has uh, kind of um, leaned on his tyres a little bit too much here, I think. Just needs. To... That's, that's the problem, though, isn't it, Gaz? When you're stuck behind a car, you know, with the turbulent air, uh, you lose grip and you, you, you put yeah. more strain on your tyres. Especially going through the messes as well. Yeah. Because, yeah, the, the, yeah, the load, the load when you're going through the S's is crazy. It's crazy. Uh, Let's so have a look up front. We've got uh, Darko Wade and Turbo, um, Turbo Snail. Uh, Darko Wade, of course, needs to win this race if he's going to stay alive and the championship hopes. Uh, thanks for the follow, Nizev10. Welcome in. Welcome in, dude. Uh, how do I sign up for this league? Um, hopefully someone will put a Discord link uh, in the chat. If not, I will gotcha. grab one for you. Thank you, Gazza. Gazza's on the case. Uh, there's a Discord link for you there. Just uh, That'll give you um, the welcome prompt when you join the server and uh, just follow the instructions and we can uh, get you hooked up. We are just literally coming towards the end of the season. We've got the final race week for the, all the divisions um, next week and then we'll be taking a two-week break or so and then we'll be in with a new season, season 11 of uh, TIR. So here we go then, uh, lap 11, uh, still an awful long way to go, 17 laps plus to go. Uh, the two Alpha Tauris there, they are starting to extend out. Um, st the tyres are still fine, Gazza. They're extending on Armour King at the moment. The gap mm -hmm. up to three point, well, about three seconds. On, no, uh, they're, they're sort of, it's, it's Darko Wade staying in DRS of Turbo Snow perfectly here. The, the, the teamwork is working amazing. Yeah, here comes Chance on the new tyres uh, on Destroyer Drac. That's uh, pretty straightforward there, gets the job done. And he's back on his way, having them made a pit stop, putting the mediums on. Uh, it's just possible, say, so maybe he'll take his tyres to the end. I've got a feeling now he'll be he'll be hoping for a tactical safety car around about mm -hmm. 20, 22, 23, so he can stick some soft tyres on, and then he Definitely. can really go racing. <clears throat> All right. Even okay. Tom Shroud burnt his tyres out. He's doing well. He's staying in with DRS of uh, Shrews. So this is working perfect for him so far. Obviously, he's going to have to pit a lot earlier than what Shrews is uh, going to pit, but he's staying in DRS, just not pushing it too hard. Yeah, I hope you run with the three sec time penalty. The, 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 actually, the, uh, the, the, the pit window for the medium runners is opening up now, around about lap 11, lap 12. We expect to see them starting to filter in uh, over the next three or two or three laps uh, to put the hard ties on. That's if they're going medium hards. Uh, if, if anyone's looking good in the mediums, they may even try and extend out and go soft. But I'm just looking at the tyre wear. Um, Dark away 47%. Yeah, he's going to have to go hard. So he'd have to take mediums to lap 21 or lap 20. For the stops and that's just too much on on the, giving his tire wear at the moment it looks like about four percent per lap on the mediums gas and about three percent <clears throat> per lap on the hards so that's the tire wear rate at the moment all right so darker wade's out of the rs now of turbo now who's going to pit first is it team orders is p1 going to pit but he said darko wade's in the championship battle so yeah it'll be all off for him yeah, I mean, Darko Wade would be, uh, he, he could have a good argument for being, you know, for actually calling the shots here, if, if calling the pit strat. It, it, it all depends, really. I mean, you know, he could get on, he could get on the blow at the Turbo Snow and Turbo Snow could say, get stuff. <laughs> but it's nice to see <laughs> the know. two championship battlers having a reverse strategy, so it's going to be interesting the yes. last few uh, laps. Yeah, because Rusted Bolt's going to come at Darko Wade, you know that, you know that. Uh, Nisef says, so I just DM TT times TU. Uh, you need to DM them. You put them actually in the TT submissions channel. There is, a, if you look, if you look on the welcome link there, there is actually a uh, a, a hash link to the uh, the TT submissions. You just post your screenshots in that particular chat channel, and uh, one, one of the admins will come and sort you out. Let's jump on board with Chultz. He's going for a move on Super Ninja. Uh, it should be a straightforward move up the inside there at uh, turn eleven. I'll have the DRS to pull away as well now, so Charles should... Would he go. have waited for that DRS, though? Oh, he got the DRS. Yeah. Clever from Charles. Yeah, he waited for that activation zone. Yeah, he, he left it to the last minute before getting the overtake done to turn 11. That's smart. Otherwise, Super Ninja would just breeze past him again. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, you know, he looks like a, a dumb shit, but he's actually quite clever when he wants to be. Do you know what? He, he lets that. off that. <laughs> he lets off that, but he's not no Einstein, but he ain't, like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
He's um, seen a, he's switched on. A little bit of a lull here at the moment. We've got a few cars as a strategy to sort of to come into play at the moment. The only car within DRS is Mate. Tom Shroud. Roscoe Bolt is pitting off the hards. This is this Ooh. is early. This is very very early. This is a this is a strat call. Is he, what's he, he going? Some, he's going mediums. He's going mediums. He's going mediums. Yeah, the mediums will go to the end. That's an early Easy. call to jump off those hards. I think he's going for the race win, mate. He's going to try and undercut everybody here. He's going for a really early pit stop. Who did I say at the beginning? Was it it's Turbo Snow? I said at the beginning. Turbo Snow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think your your boy has got more chance than my prediction. I said I went Codzilla. He's done the <laughs> That's like when I put a bet on the Grand National. I'm like, he's going to win it. He's going to win it, and then they shoot him at the end. Yeah, no, he, yeah. he's going to win it. He's going to win it. It turns out they actually shot him before the start of the, uh, the horse race. Like <laughs> he was already being served up in kebabs and naan bread and salad, mate. You know, All he was good for is being a show pony. <laughs> This is going to be an interesting little scrap though, because we've got Charles has got good pace. Rusty Bolt's just come out on those medium tyres. Is Charles going to be a bit of a spoiler here? They're coming down towards turn 11, and Charles may be winning the shout here for an overtake. Charles, no matter where he is, he's going anywhere to go for on it. that grid, he's going to go for it. Whether he he's comes. in a race or not, here he comes. Yep, here he comes. Here he comes. But I think Bolt's actually got some great straight line speed, to be fair. Right, Charles I'll tell you what. <laughs> Charles' ERS is literally like a pound shot battery. He's got 6% of the drain of the life out of that battery. Yeah, it ran out after three seconds, literally. It's like an iPhone 3, 3 the first one. <laughs> well, I mean, it's crazy because you'd think even with, with little battery, but with a nice chunk of DRS, which gives you an extra 15k straight line speed, he would at least start to catch Rusted Bolt. If anything, Rusted Bolt was pulling away on that straight. Charles has yeah. no answer, so I think Rusted Bolt is, he can pretty much forget that threat now. Unless he makes a mistake, no, exactly. he can forget that thread. He's got 78% batteries, he should be good if he manages it well. The thing is, Charles, the next two to three laps, he won't get past 50%, <coughs> even if he puts it on medium. Yeah, he's got to turn, it, he's got to turn the wick right down there to try and recover some battery, because you don't know how important that might be a bit later on. Uh, Super Ninja has pulled the trigger for the medium runners. He has come in, he's pitted uh, from P11, uh, be a new set of hard compound tyres going on. He's got yet confirmation there, hard's going on. Uh, OP running also pitted as well, a uh, new set of medium, so he came off the hard tyre, I believe he was on. Uh, eyes now, based on the two Alpha Tauris, when are they going to call it? Turbo Snow is now, uh, he's got to two seconds. Armour King, I think, oh, Charles with a three sec time penalty. Armour King, um, you would expect those hard tyres to be coming back to him now. Um, he should be able to start thinking about uh, sort of chiselling back into that lead. Um, just looking at the tie wear situation. Not I think meaning Darko's... for a, yes, com like a commentator curse or anything like that, but we've not had a safety car yet. Go on, continue, Beer. Sorry. No, I, even <laughs> even Jewel Coop's little tippy tap and, and the wheel fell off didn't bring out a safety car, which did surprise me. Um, oh, Darko, I think Darko is going to come in, mate. His tyres are on 60%. I, I think they're, they're done. Short, no, he's staying out. Oh, he's staying out for another lap. Oh, that's that's. I don't know if that's a great idea, mate. That's good. for the for the Armor King. That's that's playing to Armor King's hands. Yeah, no, it is. I think, and also possibly Rusted Bolt. Yeah, I was well. about to say know. that. We've yeah. got, to, got to forget about Rusted Bolt. He's got the pace to get out there, and he's on them fresh mediums. He will, he will go to the end, but his tyres will be dying at the end as Tom Shroud yeah. comes into the pits. Okay, let's have a see. Look at Tom Stroud. What's going on in that car? Uh, it's a Rusted brand Bolt takes new him. set of soft compound tyres. That is, I don't think that's the right. He call. is going racy though. Oh, he's going. He's going to have to two stop it for me, surely. Thirteen laps uh, on the um, softs. Is... Yes, yeah, that's not going to work. I think even if he tried to hang it out on those softs, he'll lose so much time. I think he'd be better off just stopping again and put another set of softs on. If that's, yeah. if that's what he's doing, uh, it's a double stop on the softs. Uh, that is that actually might be exactly what he's doing. Um, I might be sort of second guessing myself here a little bit because he is going to be very, very quick. Uh, what's the pit stop here? About 24 seconds. So, um, uh, pit stop around here is 18 points. Oh, 18. Seconds. It's a short one. That's exactly what he might be doing because he's probably looking at around about where are he lapped um, two seconds a lap. He needs to lap quicker if he's going to. Um, if he's going to stop again and put softs on, he needs to make up 18 seconds, which is about two mm -hmm. seconds a lap, um, with two relatively fresh set of softs. Yeah, I think that's doable. I think that's Rusty doable. Bolt gets the jump on Sniper. Rusty Bolt is pushing. He is indeed. He's dropped Charles away by 3.2 seconds. Uh, what about the leaders? Are we seeing some pit stops? No, they're staying out, mate. Wow. They're, I, I 
they're going to go on the softs, surely. They could be. Well, Turbo Snow, yeah, I'm looking at the tyre wear. 57, 58%, yeah. But Darko Wade's in the mid-60s now. I, don't think I was Darko... about to say, I just jumped on board with him. His yeah. tyres do have a lot more grain in than Turbo Snow. Yeah, let's just have a look at, uh, get a front on view. Have a look at those uh, those tyres. Yeah, you can see the two-tone nature. as rusted bolts. That's the fast snap of the race, 136, 7, 4, 8. And they're looking very two-tone-ish. Um, our darker waist tyres, he is going to be starting to struggle on those quite soon. A shrewd sniper and Schumacher all comes into the pits. Okay, now looking at the gap to leader, um, Rusted Bolt now is 20.63 seconds uh, uh, behind Darko Wade. He is almost undercut Darko Wade, mate. Already. But look at that delta. Every every couple of corners, that delta's coming down very quickly. Down 19. to 19 seconds. Yeah, and he was about 26 seconds behind when he made a pit stop. He has gained so much time. The question is, can he hang on to those tyres? I think the Alpha Tower uh, pit crew will have to pull these two guys in now because, like you said, it's 19.6, 18.6 for a pit. If they yeah. pit on this lap now, they're going to be coming up to turn one close with each, close to each other. Well, if Turbo Snail pits, mate, Darko Wade's going to be furious. Darko Wade's going to be saying, let me pit first because his tyres, Darko Wade is about 7 or 8% worse. He's on maybe 70% of his tyres now. So just jump on board a Turbo Snail. Is Turbo Snail coming? Yeah, is Turbo Snail going to come? Turbo Snail's coming in. Darko Wade's going to be furious, mate. Darko oh, Wade's got to stay Darko out. Wade. He's staying out, Spin. Yeah, oh, team order's out the window, mate. I can see after Darko, uh, sorry, Turbo Snail's pit, sorry, Darko Wade's pit, I can see Rusty Bolt taking uh, the jump on him. Yeah, oh, almost certainly, mate. The gap is, um, yeah, it's, gonna, it's around about 18 seconds, which is a pit stop. Rusty Bolt Liam is Liam Harding hard. does say in the chat, though, he's, the undercut is massive around here. Yeah. It all depends. I totally agree. It all depends whether he can hang on to his tyres. Right, here comes Rusted Bolt. Is he going to clear Turbo Snow? Turbo Snow's just trundling up the pit lane. He's got to try and get those tyres. <sighs> Turbo Snow's gone for the soft tyres, though. Oh, it's oh that's still close. A long stint. Right, but the uh, thing is, yeah, at the end of the race, near the end, Rusted Bolt's got the, within four laps make a difference at the end. Well, I don't know, mate, because Turbo Snow's on soft tyres, mate. And 11 laps. Oh, that's, that's asking a lot, mate. It's That's a, a big shout. Yeah. Oh, it's just going to be fascinating to see it all pans out. Uh, Armour King is now, I think, in prime position to win this race now in P4. Uh, he's only a couple seconds down now on Rusted Bolt and Turbo Snail. He's on brand spanking new medium tyres. That will easily go to the end and still be quite lively. They'll be on about 40%, I reckon. So Armour King has suddenly brought himself right back into contention here. All right. So Rusted Bolt is currently 15.9 seconds behind the leader, Darko oh, Wade. Uh, Darko Wade. Darko he's going to get a jump on him. Darko Wade could drop down to P4. Oh, there is uh, Turbo Snow doing a bit of weaving there. Uh, I think it was just about allowed. He did just make the one move in the breaking zone. He's trying to he's trying to hold up Rusted Bolt now. Um, Rusted Bolt will be looking to clear him as quickly as he can. I think it's possible, mate. Darko Wade could come out in P4 here, mate. I, yeah, I think so, dear. But the thing is, he's going to be on it. I reckon he's going to go on them soft tyres. Let's jump on board with him and see if he's going to go on the softs. He's in the pits. If he does go on the soft tyres and he makes them tyres last to the end, he can get ahead of the medium runners in front. But the he thing could. is, they're all four or three of them is going to be battling out to the end. And the soft runners battling out lap after lap to the end, they're set. going to degrade a lot quicker than the mediums. Yeah, so set, set, set of softs going on. He is going to be coming out in P4. I think Armour King's about to go through now. Yeah, Armour King clears yep. him. So uh, Armour King up to P3, uh, Darko Wade to P4, because Darko Wade, though, will be quick on those tyres. Uh, a bit further down, we've got any battling going on. Say, we, uh, apologies, guys, but we just want to stick with this battle, because this is a championship battle going on right here um, between Armour King and Darko Wade. Liam Harbin in the chat says uh, his money's on Armour King. I, I, I tend to agree with you, because, yeah. um, yes, Darko's tyres are a couple of laps fresher, but they are, they're going to wear at a much higher rate than uh, Armour King's. So you could have a situation where Darko Wade gets gets back past Armour King, yeah, in the next couple of three laps, and then Armour King comes back at him uh, at, towards the end of the race as his, as the soft tyres start to really fade. Uh, destroy Drac with a three-sec time penalty, uh, down, currently down in P12. Uh, not a lot happening. It's pretty static behind these guys, but this is where the action's going to be at very, very soon, ladies and gents. This top four. It's really hard to... Um, Pick a winner. Did Rusted Bolt shoot his bolt too soon, mate? Was it a bit premature? 
Possibly. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry, I, yeah, a bit of a sexual pun there. Uh, oh, Schumacher, Schumacher's having a great race. Currently, biggest uh, gainer from the start of the race. He's gained seven positions. That's good, man. That's good. Of course, he didn't qualify, did he? he didn't, I don't think he, he, he even sat a lap time during Q. No, he didn't. So, uh, Mr. Sandbagger himself. But uh, uh, he is, as you said, currently running in P8. In fact, he could be eye in a top five finish here because... Uh, Two of the cars in front of them have got penalties. 135.777 from Turbo Snail. Fastest lap of the race so far. Uh, quicker than Darko Wade. We've only got one driver at the moment that's in the DRS section, and that's Darko Wade. Yeah. Charles has pitted. That'd be new softs going on there. Uh, on his car. He'll be going for fastest lap, no doubt. And I think he'll probably get it as well, to be fair. We know his race pace is sound. Lovely camera angle there as the cars filter through the S's. That's what we'd like to see from Cody's. Some good camera angles. Turbo Snow is pushing hard, mate. He really is. Um, he's lighting up their soft on. The thing tires. is, though, you don't want to push too hard, do you? Mm, this is it. Because like he's dead. You bolt your load. Um, so Darko Wade is within DRS now, but so is Armour King. Yeah, but I think Darko is going to get a lovely... He's going to, he's going to get a bit of a double toe here. Isn't he? He's going to get some assistance from both Armour King and Rusted Bolt, so he could get the move done. Let's have a little look here as they come down this long back straight. Is he going to send one uh, under braking? He's going to have a look. Faints a little look. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. I thought he was going to half commit. He almost seemed half committed well. there. Yeah. I hate those sort of half committed things because sometimes they can lead to horrendous crashes. You know, you've either got. And he, he did back out, to be fair, but you know, sometimes you see big action. Oh, he's got to the inside. Got to the inside. Turn 15. He's, has he got the traction? Wow. Oh, he's got the move done. What an That's overtake. Brave. I see Sergio Perez done that. Was it about a few about eight years ago? I think on this track, seven years ago, and he spun someone out. So that was very brave. That uh, was a brave move. I think uh, fair play to Armour King as well. Gave him the room. Saw what he was doing. Didn't Great try awareness. and uh, block him. Just uh, showed a bit of good uh, racing etiquette there. Uh, Darko Ways now going to come at Rusted Bolt. He is going to say going to be mightily quick. But the question is, does he? Is he going to shred his tyres too often? He's going to go to the inside here to turn one. Oh, oh. Late on the brakes. Oh, again, it's like a half. That's like a half committed overtake. That could have ended horribly, mate. You've either got, you've either got to go for it or back right out. You know what I mean? That it's was like, great oh. defending though by Rusted Bolt. It was. It needs to be. The, the, the longer he can keep Darko Wade behind him, the, 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 the quicker Darko Wade's tyres are going to burn out, those soft tyres. This is crucial for the race. Rusted Bolt. These, the, the, of course, it's these two who are fighting for the championship. Darko Wade has got to win this race. Rusted Bolt. As it stands at the moment, Rusted, uh, Rusted Bolt is champion. But here he comes. He's going to go up the inside into turn 11. He's going to get the job done, I think. Nothing that Rusted Bolt can do about this. They both give each other room. That's classy. Now, who picked up the DRS? Watch out for Armour King for a double overtake. Yeah, I'm going to jump to on board. Hit the wall side, guys. I'm getting excited. No, I was about to say that bit. <laughs> Armour King has got DRS. But the thing is, Rusted Bolt must be... Oh. Is he going to go? The thing is, Rusted Bolt done really well there because Armour King had DRS. Rusted Bolt didn't have DRS, but he just kept that position on... He did indeed, mate. Uh, Shrews has got past uh, Tom Stroud as well on the inside there at turn 12, uh, up to P5. It's all happening here, ladies and gentlemen. This is it is. Yeah, a scrap. Uh, Turbo Snow, of course, has taken advantage of these guys scrapping. He is extending out 3.3 seconds. Turbo Snow is now all of a sudden the favourite to win this race. Armour King needs to pass Rusted Bolt and Darko Way quickly. Uh, Darker is losing time on Turbo Snow, even though um, he's on fresher tyres. But here we go again as they come up towards a steep incline towards turn one. A uh, bit of cloud, I just noticed as well. We've got some Ooh. cloud cover. Are we going to see something spicy at the end of the race, possibly? You never know. Looking a bit foggy. The thing is, there was two Alpha Towers worked very well the first half of the race. If he catches him, is he just going to give him a call on the radio and just be like, listen, Turbo Snow, let me ahead of, let me get ahead of you and you be that wall between me and the people behind yeah, I mean, I think the wording might go along the lines of you know, Turbo, let me through and then brake check Rusted Bolt and stick him in the wall. <laughs> yeah. Or something like that. Codzilla gets ahead of Destroyer. Uh, Cod there, uh, yeah, Destroyer directs in the pit. A uh, new set of softs going on his car, I think. Oh, a new set of meat. Maze. What the fuck? I think he's run out of tires. Sound Here comes Armour King. King. Yeah, he's going to get the move done because uh, Rusted Bolt's got no DRS, so it's going to be a straightforward overtake from Armour King. And that puts a little bit of breathing space between Darko Wade and Rusted Bolt. As Armour King is up to P3. Lock up there from Rusted Bolt. Needs, needs to just stay with... In fact, to be fair, I don't think Rusted Bolt needs to do much. If he stays where he is, mate, he's champion. Mm -hmm. 
for Schumacher on the, has joined the party on the back end of Tom Shroud. Yeah, of course, uh, Tom Shroud is carrying a, a time penalty as well. Uh, I just think Iroh Schumacher wants some bragging rights here. He wants to clear Tom Shroud, and I think he wants to clear Nides as well. Uh, no rain, Jason. I'm not seeing anything on the halo at the moment. It is looking quite dark, though. But there's no it rain. Is. No rain in the halo that I can see. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Nizev, join the server. Thanks for joining the server, Dibby. I don't think he's not very happy, though, with the, the tracks we've stacked the oh, TTs. Wow. <laughs> Look who's in the chat. Hello! Here. Hello! How are you I doing, you man? I swear oh. I see his picture on the side of a milk carton. <laughs> Bit of our bread. Oh, it's just, hey, this is this is like an old team reformed. He got, wants to come back. Yeah, I know. I, I've, heard, I've, heard, I've heard the rumours. He's more than welcome to. Get um, your buddy, get um, is it Luke Thompson back in as well. Noswell. No. Yeah, Nos, yeah. Up the bloody fear. I've missed that, man. How you doing, man? Rain is close, apparently. Oh, hello. We, we could have a spicy end to this race, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, Tom Stroud there got a bit of a snap of oversteer. And uh, Ivo Schumacher's going to breeze past in here, I think, with a bit of. DRS hasn't got much in the way of battery, but it doesn't really matter. Tom Strauss fighting it, to be fair. But he is through. Now. Schumacher. Schumacher's through. Right. Okay, we'll jump on board the leaders now. Are we going to see some team orders? Because Darko Wade is all over the back of Turbo Snail as they're coming through turn 18. Keep an eye out for race. Skeef, uh, rain. Sorry, Skeefy has mentioned that rain apparently is close. We are going to see some rain, we think, by the end of the race, or before the end of the race. Keep a careful eye on that halo. The first drops will appear on that halo when the rain is coming. Uh, unfortunately, no. We can't do any other tracks there in this area. We have to go for those tracks, Steve. Same for everybody. Nice try, though. I admire your, <laughs> I admire your style. Good call on the tracks, to be fair. All different tracks. Different tracks, Show yeah. what people can do. We also wanted to try some of the new tracks as well, so people, you know, because people get too ingrained with doing TTs on certain fast laps, certain fast tracks that they're used to. Yeah, do you know exactly. What I mean? So we thought we'd uh, just have the one fast track, I Austria, and then the two new ones. Oh, I'm keeping a careful eye on the halos here. I'm, I'm scanning for drops of moisture appearing on those halos. Oh, we've got two cards within DRS for the battle for one, two, three, and four. We've got Dark Wade uh, half a second as he almost loses the rear end coming out of that corner. And we've got Rusted Bolt on the back end of Armour King. The hours open. Okay. What have we got? We're going to see any movement here. I don't think either car is close enough to get a move on the respective driver it's as you were uh shrews is having a pretty tidy race as well in p5 mm -hmm. but he's gonna have uh iro schumacher i think coming out and schumacher's got some pretty good pace dj apex welcome apex chewy good to see you mate okay dark away is a bit close to turbo snail this time uh, it just needs to get a good exit out the final couple of quarters and then have a run at him uh with the drs up to turn one. Oh, he's looking a bit twitchy though i must admit Tire wear is 31%, so he should be okay on those tyres. Needs to get a good... Oh, hello, it's raining. It's raining, Gazza. It's oh, raining. Oh, the clouds have opened here in Texas, people. This is going to spice things up. Is the rain going to affect these drivers? We've got four laps to go. It's affecting me already because I'm feeling moist. Well. You know what I'm saying. Well, well, well. Uh, see, Brett Gaming in the chat. Who let this... Uh, but, mate, I'm on tag, so that's why I'm on comps. I'm not allowed to leave the house, so that's why I do comps with beer now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to put it, just give him a shout out. All good boys, a return maybe on the cards. Haven't even got the game yet. I'm going to sort my shit out. Absolutely, get your shit sorted out, son. And get it sorted. Ooh, we've got some people coming into the pit. Inters, the inters, yes. Tires. Oh, it's, it's the rain's coming down. We've seen water droplets on, out on, the, on their helmets. I don't know why they've, why they've got their flies open, I don't know. But, <laughs> um, but the thing is, though, I reckon it's, it's going to change the, the way this race turns out. Because I'm looking at the track. And with the medium runners like Rusted Bolt, Shrews, I think it's going to affect them. And maybe yeah, oh, even the soft runners as well. They're going to, just going to lose lose track temperature. The track, the tire temperature is going to plummet. Um, yeah, they're already going yellows, mate. They're already struggling with tire for tire temperatures already. We could see some blues here on the tire temperatures. Uh, Darko Wade gets the jump. 
Yeah, is he going to come in and pit? That's the question. We're going to keep an eye on these front runners. Keep an eye now on on, uh, on Boo Two K Ten. That's Tom Stroud. We're going to keep an eye on it. See what his, his race, his pace is like on yeah. those intermediate tyres. Three point seven. We're going to use it as a benchmark against Jakey G. I've oh. just jumped on board with to oh. to Turbo Snowbeer as he was coming through sector three. Just had to come off the front. Turbo's, Turbo's pitting. Yes, yep. he is. Intermediate's going on. Darko Wade is staying out. Sorry, guys, I just cut across No, no, it's all good, it's all good. But I, I can just, see him coming just off the front your front wing. Just <laughs> I just took off your end plate, mate, with that, with that, <laughs> with that, with that cut in. Sorry, dude. It's all good, mate, it's all good. <laughs> oh, boom, so it is affecting them. Yeah, sorry, we're, we're, we're talking at the same time. I'm going to shut up. No, Go it's ahead. all good. No, it's all great, it's all good. Um, Tom Stroud has taken a second out of JKG in one, one, one and a half sectors on the intermediate tyres, mate. The Inters are the tyre to be on already. Yeah. Without a doubt. Uh, Rusted Bowl is very close to the back of... Oh, oh <gasps> so just gone. I'm going to see a safety Ninja. car. Safety car. Oh, that's kind of killed the race, mate, a little bit because... It has. Oh. we got a full safety car. Time to go to work, beer. You got the keys? Yeah, I'm in it, mate. Start the engine. <laughs> engine started. We are off and running, mate. We are off and running. Where's, where's Super Ninja lost it, though? That's the question. I'm looking for his car, mate. I can't see. I think they've, uh, the marshals have retrieved his car. Oh, it can't be the Stanleys here this weekend, then. They'll be, they'll be <laughs> in the dugout smoking a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> right, the Delta time's interesting because it obviously the car's been held to Delta. Turbo Snail has pitted, but I don't. I think it's going to. This is still going to work for the guys up front. They're going to. They're going to get out before Turbo Snail gets round, mate. In fact. Yeah, they are, mate. If the, if the pit stops around about 18 and a half seconds, Darko Wade, Armour King and Rusted Bolt are going to come out in front of Turbo Snail. Mm -hmm. But how much actual race time are we going to see? It's going to have to be a bloody short safety car, mate. We're on I reckon we're only going to have lap, one lap on racing. Yeah, it could be carnage, mate. It could be carnage in this final lap. Right, Darko Wade is coming in. So, yeah, that's... Obviously, that makes a lot of sense. Armour King and Rusted Bolt will follow through as well. Oh, hello! Armour King's staying, He's out. staying out! He's staying out at mediums. He's going to risk it. He's going to risk he it for a biscuit. This is going to end. A race on a lobby online cannot finish under safety car. Is that correct? Uh, as far as I know, mate, that's correct. Wow. So, Thank you, Skeefy. Absolutely right, mate. Absolutely right. So uh, everyone's going to be coming in. What's Sniper going to do? Yeah, I think everyone's just going to come in. So Armour King has decided it's all or nothing, shit or bust. He has rolled the dice. He is going to somehow hope and pray that he can keep this car on the road because I'm pretty sure the race will not end under a safety car. No. So surely he's just going to, he's going to spin off somewhere on that final lap. Everyone's just going to breeze past him. He's going to have absolutely no grip. Then 10 lap, 10 lap old mediums, they're going to be like ice. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Well, there we go, ladies and gents. And, and as I said, Darko Wade and Rusted Bolt have got out ahead of Turbo Snail. So, at the moment, Rusted Bolt is going to be crowned your champion. Whilst the safety car's out, we're just going to go to the kebab pad and just do some permutations here. Dark away P2, Rusted Bolt P3, let's hit the kebab pad. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Right, have a quick little look again. Uh, Darko, Rusted Bolt 233, Darko, uh, Way 194. Yeah. Yeah, as it's oh, safety car is coming in, mate. We're going to have two laps. Oh, this is this has killed Arbor King, mate. He was hoping for one lap. We're going to get two laps, mate. Oh, he's going to get stuffed. eaten alive. <laughs> he is absolutely done. Um, so yeah, as it stands, Rusted Bolt will be crowned champion. Okay, let's get let's head back. We're going to slap it back onto the broadcast cam. Uh, Wado uh, says that he could be out of the points before the end of uh, yeah <laughs> the first second. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be like Lando Norris in Russia. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. I remember that? Yeah. Everyone went past him. Okay, here we go, and there's a lot of spray being kicked up. There's even signs of standing water. Sniper picks up. That's a rookie error getting a, getting a penalty under the safety car. Okay, what about Armour King? He, he, oh, oh, he's dropped, dropped it. He's dropped it straight away. Yeah, he's not even got to the. Uh, oh yeah, he's just wow. 
There'll be a ticket going in. Oh, I got overtook under the safety car. No, unlucky. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> they've let him back through again. Oh, oh, I reckon it's come up with an illegal overtake error for these guys. They've had to let him back through. But we're back racing. Here we go again, ladies and gents. One of the penultimate lap. Armour King is a sitting duck. He's going to have absolutely... He's Tokyo. Oh, oh, Jesus. Holy crap. To be fair, they're all a little yeah. uh, etchy sketchy on the back there, Bill. Yeah, but I just thought Armour King there. There's an argument that Armour King should be disqualified, actually, because that car's dangerous. It's in an unsafe condition. Mm -hmm. And because he was drifting there, the other cars had to go left, which almost caused an almighty pile-up. Stewards may well be taking a look at that one, mate. Be fair. Ground alert. They're all... Yeah, they may... Uh, I might they're all struggling for traction there, Bill. Yeah. Yeah, they are indeed, mate. I might instruct the uh, stewards to take a look at Armour King there because I don't think that was... Uh, that's, the, that's the car in an unsafe position. <gasps> As Turbo Snail up the inside eye roll, Schumacher has to go wide. Was he punted? I don't think he was. Yeah, there was contact there. There was, the, there was contact. Okay. Look think, at Tom Shroud. Oh, it's all happening here. Here they go. Coming down towards turn number 12 on this restart. Tom Shroud, the oh double overtake. Oh, my goodness. Schumacher. Oh, oh, Schumacher's trying to go to the inside. He's trying to thread the Ivan Needle. Oh, the, oh Jesus oh. Christ. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> Schumacher it's sent it again. Changing. That is beautiful. <laughs> Schumacher goes back on the inside, but look at that! It's turbo snail. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, a bit of contact there coming. Tricky turn 15. They are going for it. Turbo snail's off the track. He's going to have to yield that one. And Tom wow. Stroud somehow stays in P4. Look at Trim look at the Shroom that has found himself in P3. No speed territory for Nige in P3. Armour King is down in P9, by the way. It's all gone horribly wrong. I wrote Schumacher fancies a P4 here. He really, really does. But it is the two championship protagonists leading the way. Darko Wade and Rusty Bob, one and two, we hit on the final lap, just starting now, ladies and gentlemen, as they come up towards turn one for the final time. Uh, Armour King, um, well, he threw the dice. It was, and it was, it was loaded dices, the stacked dices, they were stacked against him. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's coming now. Uh, he's just thrown away all those points, mate. Thrown away a podium, Protect yeah. possible, possible race win as well. But sometimes, yeah, sometimes you, you, have, you know, you just you have to learn by your mistakes. You know what I mean? To, to be fair, the conditions changed so quickly. It, they did. They really did, mate. I'm just watching this scrap here between uh, Shroud, Shroud, you know, Shroud, <laughs> top, top, Turbo Snell, and uh, Ira Schumacher. Just keep but looking at the inside. Oh! <laughs> Iroh Schumacher made, uh, oh, yeah, made a real big mistake there. And Iroh Schumacher's gone through. Oh, he's just done a rush to bolt in it. I'm just making sure there's going to be no incident between these two. The two championship protagonists coming into turn 12 for the final time. It's as you were. A quick look at Tom Stroud. Is he going to center up the inside of Iroh Schumacher? No, he's not. So back onto the, uh, the top two. Darko Wade and rush to bolt. Uh, Rusted Bolt, as it stands, with about four corners to go, is going to be crowned Division 3 champion, uh, ladies and gentlemen, even though he finishes behind Darko Wade in the race. He's done enough to seal the deal. Just three corners to go. Coming into turn 19 now, the penultimate corner. Is anything going to hold on? Is he going to bin it on the last corner? Are we going to see any late shenanigans? No, he just eases it round the final corner. Does Darko Wade? He's going to take the checker flag. But Rusted Bolt is your new Tier 3 champion. Ladies and gents, well done, mate. And Shrews comes home to get the podium in P3. Turbo Snell in P4. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. What a race. What a race. Great race. Wow. Woof. Out of breath after that one, dude. I have to say, it worked out well for Darko Wade there. Managed the strategy perfectly well, even when the, uh, the rain come in. Hit it at the right time and Absolutely. great race Darko Wade. Absolutely. And here comes poor old Armour King. He's on the right tie now, but it's about three laps too late on those intermediate tyres. going to come home in P12. Out of the big point scoring positions. Opie Rallying uh, is going to come round in P13. Last track in this F is uh, Spa next week. I'll have to say um, Schumacher gained 10 positions. Great drive. So and some drive awesome, awesome overtaking. Some sends at the end there on those inters. That was crazy, man. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank Absolutely. you, Division 3. That was a great watch. Yeah, that was a quality race. Quality race. Uh, Iroh Schumacher gets the drive of the day. I can't argue with that, that, mate. Yeah, yeah. Can't argue that at all. That's a good call, guys. All right, just take Bill Lemontry off the screen. I'm going to give you, well, we'll just watch the podium 
uh, celebrations, and then we'll give you a rundown of the uh, the official result. Of course, this is pending Stuart's investigations. I don't think there's going to be too many clips though, uh, submitted, Gav. I think that was a couple of pretty clean things. race. It was pretty clean. very clean race. Yeah, some great driving, great overtakes. There's a little bit of contact when the conditions got very tricky, but I have to mm -hmm. say, very good driving from everyone. Yeah. It was on par with Tier 4 last night. Tier 4 had a great race, and this is on <laughs> par with them. It was a great race. Okay. We'll just wait for the uh, the celebrations there. They're spraying their white man stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Okay, there we go. Darko Endo <laughs> takes the victory um, and the big points there. But Rusted Bolt P2, I believe, is the new Division 3 champion. Shrews comes home in P3. Solid drive there from the Shroominator. Turbo Snail P4, but gets a bonus point for fastest lap there, that 135.777. IRL Schumacher, drive of the day in P5. Tom Stroud in P6. Schultz in P7. Sniper in 8. Godzilla, uh, recovered to finish P9. Jakey G in 10. Destroyer Drac in 11. Armour King 12. Cheesy 13. Had a pretty quiet race, to be fair. Didn't see much of Cheesy during that race. Uh, OP Rallying in P14. And then we had the two DNS. We had Super Ninja, which uh, is crash brought out that, la la that late safety car. And uh, Julku, who tippy toed up to the wall at turn nine and his wheel fell off. Uh, DNS <laughs> early doors. Uh, I think it was the first lap, wasn't it? Or the second lap. It was pretty early doors, yeah. uh, to be fair. God, that's a name, a name I've not seen in the chat. Presto Evans. Holy shit, man. How you doing, fella? From uh, ERN and WOR. Great to see you, my man. Hope life's treating you very, very well. Wow. It's a name of Moxley for a long time. Of course, uh, ex-ETE driver as well. The very first incarnation of ETE. Way, 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 way back in the day. All right, let's head back to the command center. All righty, guys. Well, that was an absolutely superb race. Gaza, sum that race up, mate. Oh, it was fantastic. It, uh, sort of, especially with the top sort of four or five drivers interchanging every lap. It was some great driving, and then we just—I did call it mid-race. I was like, we need a safety car. We need to spice it up. But then near the end, the safety car come out when the conditions uh, changed, and yeah, it, it, it was fantastic right up to the end. Schumacher come into play, taking eleven positions from the start, and I have to say, Division Three that was spectacular to watch. Absolutely, um, Shimmy, there was some great. Some great overtakes and outrageous uh, sends there um, on those mm -hmm. intermediate tyres, but uh, it was safe. There was there was no there was, wasn't there's was no desperation. It was clean as a whistle. Yeah. So um, yeah, uh, Shrews and chances. I'll take the smash and grab for the podium. Yeah, fair play, man. It was a good drive tonight, Nigel. It was a good solid drive, mate. Uh, Charles has just lost his cart in the corner. Yeah, I think Charles would be would have been right up there fighting as well today. Mm. Uh, Charles has got pace. We showed, yeah. showed it last week in yeah. Australia as well. Yeah, he has got pace. It's just them little sort of errors and stuff like that. But if he keeps his head down and continues with that lap for lap pace, he's, he's he could be on from a podium most weeks. Yeah, I totally agree, mate. I mean, he was so he was the he was the fastest car by some margin last week. Mm -hmm. He really was in tier three. Uh, Jake Eugene says a better performance for me tonight. Happy with P10. Yeah, good good effort, Jake. Good effort. Yeah. You make you're doing some good work in tier three this season as as a reserve driver as well. He was in a Williams, wasn't he? He yes. was uh, battling out quite a lot with snipers. With sniper. Good overtakes going on there. Yeah, Turbo Snell's in the chat says GG's lad. Safety car kind of ruined the end of the race. It did. It did. To be fair, we were. Um, it was just unfortunate. You know, sometimes it, you, you never know when an accident's going to happen. Um, I wish. The game had a kind of smarter AI where mm -hmm. it would actually say, do you know what, we'll just have a VSC. You know, you know if it's yeah. like in the last six laps, just bring out a VSC or something for half a lap and then go racing again. Um, because it, it does. We, unfortunately, we do see it so often where, where there's a late safety car and there's like, you know, a real fantastic battle all of a sudden just goes out the window, you know. As, and also it costs people race wins as well. Like Turbo Snail, I think, was set up for the race win. And it's yeah. watched him dearly. Um, Tom Stroud in the chat says, uh, really didn't need that safety car. Perfect example of what I'm talking about. Uh, when a lap early, I think I, I would have undercut a few. Yeah. Uh, Tree says, Gazza brought me luck. Well, there you go, Gazza. See? You're making well, an impact already, mate. Love that. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Chult says, that's my sixth P7 of the season. Well, it's consistent, mate. I mean, well, the thing is, you're not as consistent as Didcot. It's as 14th DNF this season, I think. I'm just kidding, <laughs> Dickot. Jewel Coot, if you're watching, mate. I'm just taking the piss. Uh, All right. But, um, yeah, that was a good race. And 
Ladies and gents, don't forget tomorrow night it's tier two uh, going to be in action here at uh, the Circuit of the Americas, and there's a championship scrap as well tomorrow night. I think it's Skeefy and Bloisey going head to head for the tier two championship tomorrow night. That's going to be a race to my return. Yeah, it's going to be a banger, mate. It's going to be a banger be tomorrow banner. night. They're um, quick in Division Two as well. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. And you're going to be in action tomorrow night, Gaz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's just call me Jewel Coot of Division 2. <laughs> <laughs> just DNF on the first lap, mate. Come and join me in the comms yeah, booth, mate. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah the exactly. So you're commentating tomorrow? I, I, I think so. I think so, Oh, yeah. amazing, amazing. I think yeah. so. I'm not sure yet. I don't know what Sutter's doing. I've uh, just got a text from my mum and dad saying, we've just been out drinking. Can you pick us up from the pub? <laughs> the fact that... <laughs> what? <laughs> but what? I'm going back to my parents and all of a sudden I'm Uber. <laughs> <laughs> it's when you get the second message saying when your mum saying and your dad's been thrown up again he's had too much of fucking <laughs> spice rum you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, mate. brilliant uh, Nisef uh, good to see you man thank you so much for uh, popping in following and also uh, registering with the league and uh, I wish you a very happy thank career uh, in TIR uh, she says maybe uh, I'll get out of P10 the championship I've been stuck there for weeks okay Fair enough, mate. I hope you do too. Uh, Jake asks a question uh, for you from Jakey G. Question for Gaza. What's Yo. your fastest lap you've done around Kota? There you go, Gaza. Oh, oh, I'm not too sure. It was in, what is it? The 33 is the average. About 32, 9, I believe. Uh, don't count me on that. I've added you. I've added you guys. But um, yeah, it's. But the thing is, it's, my TT looks quick, but I'll, I'll, you'll see me tomorrow, people. It means nothing. <laughs> it means nothing. Because the difference is, you can't. Re re replay it you can't just go oh let me try again let me try again it's totally <laughs> different on tt than the lobby i had a race against the ai earlier and uh i pressed the replay button probably about 15 times and we, we didn't even get up to 15 laps uh but yeah that shrews is uh one you up mate it's like guys have put the sandbags away he's calling you out mate <laughs> he's uh, calling you out. Well, we'll find out tomorrow night, ladies and gents, because, yes, Gaza, are you in the Aston Martin, Gaza? Which guy I am in the Aston, Aston Martin. Martin. Make sure yeah. you lock into the beer and kebab stream, people. Yeah, we're going to see, we're going to see the Tinder King in action tonight. Is it going to be like Bruce Almighty, where the car, it's just your shit aura? You know what I mean? <laughs> and all the cars just go, and they just move out the way of you, and just go straight to the middle, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you hear my voice in the stream, you know it's not lasting long. <laughs> Oh, that could be yeah. awesome. But yeah, I'll be going um, again. It'll be an 8.30 start tomorrow night, ladies and gents. So uh, yeah, tune in. I think I'm streaming it. Um, I will I will ask uh, Sato if he fancies it. Um, yeah. But I think I'll do it because, damn it, it's my league. <laughs> it's your league. Oh, my TT time was a 32.9. 32.9. There we go. Yeah. Uh, we should do predictions for tomorrow night for Tier 2, says Jakey G. Do you know what? I will do some predictions uh, tomorrow. I forgot to do them actually tonight. Um it, 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 it's Gazzy, you see. He, 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 he puts me off, you see, with his aura, you know. I forget to do his back. But yes, I'll do some predictions tomorrow night. Uh, cheers to streaming beer. Catch you tomorrow. Night. Yeah, no worries. And congratulations, mate. Well there, done. There's the camera over there, mate. There. Congratulations on your P3 and Nice. That was a really solid, consistent drive. You did everything that you need to do. When you got overtaken early doors because you're, you're on the alt strategy, you didn't pay. Yeah. You just got your head down and raced. And that's what it's all about, mate. Consistency is key. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to call it, guys. Uh, I'm not going to do a big talkathon like I did last night. I'm actually pretty knackered. I've got to go to the shop, and I've got some tindering to do. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to jump off. But Gas, first of all, mate, thanks for doing the comms. Oh, it's oh, a fucking pleasure. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. First time back last week in the comms box with you, and then this week, I've, I've really enjoyed it. And thank you, Division Three, for a fantastic race. It makes it easier when the race is entertaining, but then it makes it easier when you got someone in the comms box with you that you bounce off of. <laughs> I, I just have getting sexual innuendo again, bouncing off. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Bro. I said it, and then I was stop like, "Stop it!" Yeah, stop <laughs> it. Uh... <laughs> oh my days! The machismo oh. is using out. Right, but yeah, thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, uh, thank you, Bill. Okay, um, okay, guys, that's it. I'm going to call it. Um, check out uh, the video on demand the playback. There's some great action going on there. I think we've caught some amazing overtakes, some amazing battling, so make sure you do watch the uh, the replay. As soon as I end the stream, the replay will be available to watch uh, on the channel. So uh, check it out. 
and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow night uh, around about uh, just before half past eight we'll go live um, I'm going to try and quickly get Kenzie and see if he wants to do some co-coms tomorrow night and uh, I always love Kenzie when it's a championship decider like you know what I mean oh like, Kenzie's amazing love a bit of Kenzie um, going to have a word of Kenzie see if he's available if not I might even try and get the uh, the 5000 decibel Ferrari lunatic sat in anyway uh, <laughs> on co-coms possibly so uh yeah, let do have you heard so his race starts by the way? I yes I have. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I had earpods in and I put <laughs> his stream on for the first time and uh my volume come up on my iPhone saying your volume's too loud, please turn it down. <laughs> oh mate, yeah. Crazy, crazy race start. Brilliant. I, I always put my earphones down five seconds in advance. I know, I think I know what's coming, so I just take the earphones <laughs> off and just put them down. And then even though I can still hear it, yeah. <laughs> All right, oh, guys, love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight, okay? And uh, I'll see you tomorrow night. Until then, take Not care. Sure. Godspeed. <laughs>